Hormones are chemical messengers in our body that travel through our blood and give information and instructions to our glands, tissues and organs about what needs to be done. Each hormone has its own role in the body. Among the myriad different roles that hormones play in our bodies, the most significant ones are regulating our growth, metabolism, appetite, stress response, immune system, mood, reproduction and so much more. There's a fine-tuned and intricate balance of hormones in our body and depending on how our hormones interact and influence each other, we could either be in a state of hormonal symphony or a state of hormonal chaos. So what causes this hormonal chaos in the body and what are some of the factors that make us more prone to a hormonal imbalance? If you want to find out, keep watching. Hi everyone, welcome to Simplify. My name is Nirupama. I am a PhD in food science and a certified nutrition coach. All humans, especially women, experience hormonal imbalances during specific phases of their lives. For example, puberty, menstruation, pregnancy and menopause. These hormonal imbalances are temporary and they phase out with time. However, we could also experience hormonal imbalances due to other reasons. Let's talk about the five most common causes of hormonal imbalance in the body. The first and most common cause is poor diet. A poor diet is usually the result of overconsumption of packaged and processed foods that are rich in added sugars, saturated fats and trans fats and do not provide adequate vitamins and minerals to the body. Inadequacy of vitamins and minerals could also be faced when we are consuming very little food or are undernourished. Deficiency of micronutrients in the body can cause inflammation which in turn leads to high levels of the hormones estrogen in the body. High estrogen is linked to reduced metabolism and increased chances of weight gain. High estrogen also reduces our liver's ability to detox efficiently. In women, higher estrogen also means higher chances of premenstrual syndrome or PMS where women experience cramps, crippling pain, anxiety, mood changes and general irritability during the two weeks before the cycle starts. Increased estrogen can also disrupt the function of thyroid hormones in our body. As you can tell, a lot many of these hormonal imbalances can be averted if we can fix our diet. The second reason for an hormonal imbalance is high percentage body fat. Obesity and high body fat can put us at a risk of multiple hormonal imbalances. High visceral fat induces a state of stress in the body which means high cortisol and high cortisol can dysregulate our insulin response and blood sugar response in the body thereby putting us at a risk of diabetes. High percentage body fat can also put us at a risk of decreased production of thyroid hormones and therefore hypothyroidism in the body. The third reason for a hormonal imbalance is chronic stress. Stress causes our body to produce the hormone cortisol. Now cortisol is not inherently bad. In fact, it allows us to react to and overcome stressful situations. However, long-term stress and consistently high levels of cortisol that can result from either physical, emotional or mental stress can start wreaking havoc on our overall hormonal balance in the body. It can cause our body to go into a state of estrogen dominance which means heavy period pains, cramping and PMS in women. High cortisol can also lead to increased blood sugar levels, abdominal fat, digestive distress and lowered immunity. It can also alter the function of thyroid hormones in the body. The fourth cause for hormonal imbalance is exposure to endocrine disruptors. Endocrine disruptors are external agents or environmental toxins that interfere with the synthesis and function of hormones in our body. We all come in contact with multiple endocrine disruptors in our daily lives and it is not always possible to avoid them completely. But we can do our best to make simple swaps to reduce our exposure to these endocrine disruptors and environmental toxins. One of the most common endocrine disruptors is BPA or bisphenol A which is found abundantly in plastics and cans. So it might be a good idea to replace plastic containers, utensils, bottles with glass, porcelain or stainless steel ones. Another class of endocrine disruptors are parabens that are found in makeups, moisturizers, hair care products, shaving lotions and phthalates that are found in floor cleaners, soaps, shampoos and hairsprays. 
it might be worth looking into natural and organic substitutes for these categories of products. Other common endocrine disruptors include fragrances, heavy metals like lead, mercury, arsenic and exposure to mold. The fifth cause for hormonal imbalances are medications. Any kind of disease, illness or infection requires us to use medications, but rampant and overuse of certain medicines can disrupt hormonal balance in the body. For example, long-term use of oral contraceptives or OCPs can disrupt the function of thyroid hormones in the body. Long-term use of antidepressants can influence the level of sex hormones, estrogen and testosterone in the body. Overuse of steroids or anti-inflammatory medications can lead to high cortisol in the body which then leads to imbalanced blood sugar, weight gain and other health complications. Other than these five common causes of hormonal imbalance which are poor diet, high percentage body fat, chronic stress, exposure to endocrine disruptors and overuse of certain medications, there could also be other reasons for an hormonal imbalance in the body which include certain medical conditions like tumours, adenomas, autoimmune conditions like Graves or Hashimoto's, endocrine gland malfunctions or genetic predisposition. A vast majority of these hormonal imbalances can be corrected and brought under control with diet and lifestyle changes. I have another video on natural ways to balance your hormones. I'll link it down in the description box in case you're interested. Before I sign off, I would like to announce my third webinar on nutrition which will be conducted on the 10th of June from 4 to 5 p.m. IST. In this webinar, I talk about a lot of nutrition related topics. I cover the basics of nutrition and things like calories, metabolism, do's and don'ts for good long-term health, sample meal plans and much more. This is a paid webinar. I leave a link in the description box in case you're interested in registering and joining. If you like today's video, do give it a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section. I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care until then. Bye.